South African police have promised to ensure the safety of Nigerians residing in South Africa following the latest round of mob attacks that left a Nigerian dead. The police gave the assurance when the leadership of the Nigerian Union South Africa, led by its president, Mr. Colin Zumbo, met stakeholders at the Kimberley district in Northern Cape, South Africa, where a Nigerian died following a mob attack. Mr. Ngbo in a statement said the meeting was attended by the head of Kimberley Police Cluster, representatives of religious organizations, the host community and the South African widow of late Mr. Nicholas John. And joining me now to speak more on this is the National Deputy President, Nigerian Citizens Association in South Africa. He joins me via Zoom, Oscar Metwe. Good to have you join us. Thank you so much for having me and uh, good afternoon to you. What more can you tell us about this? We, we, we've seen over the years um, xenophobic, xenophobic attacks on Nigerians in, in South Africa and just even other foreigners. But what more can you tell us about this? And, and was it an isolated um, situation? Uh, first thing we want to say, um, we extend our condolences to the family of the uh, Omodele that uh, just passed on. For us, we consider this as one death that is too, too much. And uh, from our side, we've been trying to do all we can to work with the authorities. The situation has been reported to the Nigerian uh, consulate and the commissioner, uh, the high commissioner at uh, Victoria, and trying to see how we work with the early warning signal which was set up the last time the president was in the country. But this is rather unfortunate because it just gets like almost every now and then citizens have been attacked. And for us, we consider this at the highest level of the case. Hmm. I want to get to the response um, of the Nigerian consulate shortly, but we understand that the police say it is carrying out investigation. But from the story we, ha we have, um, um, he, there was a mob attack over a laptop, but the person who actually saw the laptop, who is a South African, is, is still alive and, and, and walking around unharmed. Um, what more has the police uncovered in this investigation and has any arrest been made? Just, uh, just uh, last week, uh, Tuesday and uh, Wednesday, we held a meeting with the Nigerian consulate and the High Commission just to also look at how we can protect our citizens. citizens and also give them the opportunity to have that engagement because we, we had this early warning uh, 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 system that was set up, but it just seems not to be really working to the way we want. Yes, this was a civil case or a civil matter. It is something that could have been resolved, resolved at the police station at most. But here we have a life of family man just had to go like that. And it is becoming increasing where you see people or groups of individuals, we call them soft maybe, because that's part of the organization that carried out this, that they are registered, but the police thus far have distanced themselves from them. Now, we have followed up. This morning, we put a call through to the police uh, authority just to know how far. And uh, we don't really want to go in more details as to uh, what has been uncovered since it, the, the case is still on investigation at the moment. But what we've said to our people is um, the law abiding, um, trust the arms of justice, doesn't matter how slow it is, we will see to the end of this. The consulate has assured us, the high commissioner, the ambassador, has assured us that we will get justice as we got in this. For us, it's just too much. Um, it's becoming increasingly where Nigerians get more, not just Nigerians, other foreign nationals. The South African that was involved, to see very much alive, has not been uh, arrested at that um, um, call this morning. It hasn't been arrested. No arrest has been made. But we trust the arms of justice. We trust that at the end uh, of absolutely. the day, justice will be there. And we will definitely stay with you or stay in touch with you rather on this case to get more information as you also get them. Thank you so much for um, talking to us. National Deputy President, Nigerian Citizens Association in South Africa, Oscar Mitui. Thank you so much.